morning folks so starting off the vlog and probably one of my favorite vlogging locations inside the car there's just something very comforting the acoustics in here very nice but yeah this week we're going over some of the things that i do to be less shitty towards myself both physically mentally and just gonna share them with y'all keep in mind i usually wouldn't do all of these things within like the same few days but you know we're vlogging here so work with me first things first you already know i'm gonna go break a little sweat uh move around i believe we're doing a push day should be very good I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go. First, gotta get to the driver's seat. So next on my self-care list, your boy is getting a tattoo. It's been a while, and if you get tattoos, you know, the feeling. Not that I enjoy the process of getting a tattoo, because that'd be weird. Well, sometimes I do, kind of like a good itch. But yeah, I'm also really excited because today's tattoo style is a little bit different than ones I usually get, but I want to get more into. Yeah, got my banana. Mm -hmm. Let's go get this tattoo. It also started raining, and of course, I'm in shorts. That's how it is. face is looking like post dermaplaning and facial it's looking very smooth smooth in a sense like hairless as you can see got some breakouts going on we did a few extractions but it was just so nice and calming i love getting my face touched and just the whole vibe of it all very relaxing very calming i was actually talking with the esthetician how like a lot of guys are very hesitant to go get a facial um because they think it's only for women but men are people who need it the most because we have larger you know sebaceous glands oil glands and just getting these like maintenance facials to kind of help with the congestion plus with the added like relaxation side of it um i think a lot more men, you know, should be open to receiving facials. Uh, but yeah, I'm just feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling relaxed, but also just very grateful that I have like the privilege of just taking care of myself, you know, in this capacity. Um, obviously, like nothing is free, you know, having the means to be able to afford all of this um, and actually have this be a part of my work. Uh, this isn't all of my work, uh, but the fact that I can say that it's a part of it, it's just, amazing and i'm very thankful for you guys watching and i hope that you know as you're watching the self-care vlog you kind of have takeaways where you think maybe i can start implementing something like that removing my body more or hydrating but yeah for the rest of the day i'm just gonna get some chill work done at home and i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning jasper oh jasper come here what's in, what's in your mouth is it a wool dryer ball yes is that your favorite give it <laughs> okay so we're talking about self-care this week. <laughs> so one thing I like to do for myself in my self-care is having a slow coffee routine. Taking my time to wake up in the morning, get off my phone, and just make a coffee. 
It's really mm. nice. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you how I do my coffee routine with my brand new coffee grinder. Wow. Oh, fancy, fancy. What is it? This is a niche coffee grinder. So mm. it grinds for espresso and for filter, and it's very pretty, and this fits perfectly into Oh, oh. dirty, dirty. Why is that not that empty? I don't know. <laughs> but it fits perfectly on there. Yeah, we'll clean that later. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how this bad boy works. Mm. Coffee. Coffee, coffee. Look at this weather. Gloomy as fuck. It's kind of nice. It's kind of mm. pretty over the the trees yeah but like from inside yeah that's true i think this guy is trying to tell us something babe all right so next up an essential part of our self-care checklist is just going outside going for a walk touching some grass getting some fresh air all of that are you ready i'm ready are you ready you want to go for a walk fist bump okay come on uh -huh. oh oh jeez Louise. Jeez, oh, okay let's go let's go Jasper, is it nutritious, delicious breakfast time? Oh, yo, no, 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 Jasper, go back. Go back. Yeah, you stay there. You know. Is this food ready? All right, Jasper. Go! This is one of Jasper's toys that we've been using kind of as like a, a little slow feeder. There's a job. Continuing on with our self-care routine, you know the drill. One scoop of the AG1 and the vitamin D3 K2 drops. Shake it up. And a big thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I feel like you guys all know the drill already. I've been taking the AG1 for well over two years now. It's now for myself a fully integrated part of my morning routine, either first thing in the morning or after my workout. But if you're new here, the AG1 is a blend of 75 different vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. However, it's a lot more than the regular multis you see on the shelves of grocery stores. Not only does it have your vitamins and minerals, but it's also got your dairy free probiotics. It's got the adaptogen complex to help with cognitive function and I also pair it with the vitamin D3 K2 drops to really help support my immunity and because this vlog is all about my self-care routine and things I like genuinely do in my personal life a few of the reasons why I've been able to stick with the AG1 for such a long time it's very low friction it's accessible it's easy like it's one scoop mix up with some water and you're good to go. So yeah, folks, if you're looking for that little boost within your self-care routine, you guys can check them out using the link below. You'll get five free travel packs and you guys have seen me take these pretty much in all of my travel vlogs, plus a year supply of the vitamin D3 K2 drops just for using the link. It's an absolute no brainer. Use the link, they have a money back guarantee. Try them out. <sighs> because sharing is caring. Here you go. Thank you. All right, so next up, I'm gonna get some food and uh, some very nutritious Korean soybean paste stew. This is the soybean paste for the broth. We have these like little mushroom and dried anchovy packs. Here's what they look like. They're like big tea bags, come in very handy. Got our tofu, we got some mushrooms, some potatoes, and a zucchini. Super simple, it's pretty much all you need. Just get some water, get your little broth tea bag, bring it up to a boil. Gonna add that into our pot. We're gonna add a couple heaping tablespoons of our tenjo or soybean paste. We have our soybean paste too. We have no panchan, we have no side dishes. No kimchi. Just rice. Just rice. But very simple. Mm. Healthy, nutritious. You can pretty much toss in like whatever proteins you have left. Tofu. Spam. Shrimp. Spam is great. Um, but yeah. You can pretty much make it whatever you want. Mm-hmm. 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 A little bit of everything. The soup. Another gloomy, gloomy day, folks. All right, so we're both gonna go break a little sweat. What are you doing today? I'm gonna go play hoop de hoop ball. Yes, what are you working on today with hoop de hoop ball? Uh, my right shoulder push off or like bump fades. Sure. Make contact with my right shoulder. Okay. Step on my left foot. Oh, okay. Fade away. I'm gonna work on my mid range jumpers, yeah. creating space, yeah. shooting, with, um, shooting with contact, wow. and uh, 
contested maybe sure sure yeah sounds great uh, good yeah. job babe. i'm gonna go meet maya at berries i've been doing a little bit of berries recently i actually hate running but honestly i haven't been i haven't been minding it okay bye, bye. have a good time at basketball all right here we are folks I have something for you. Oh, Present. Thank you. Three, two, one. Maya's a big fan. <laughs> she's not sponsored. Not sponsored. So she's telling the truth. Look at this. Kind of nice. Yeah. Maya, how's berries? I feel good. <laughs> Physically, <laughs> mentally, great. Saunter. Okay, show us. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> what? So, last time it was closed. This time, hopefully, it won't. Look at all of this fabric. Nice. Cute. Cute, cute. I think these are a bit too light. I don't know if I mentioned that I'm working on some old for my next project so I'm kind of looking for some like rougher kind of thicker fabric so we'll see I feel like these are too thin what is it waxed cotton canvas chocolate I feel like that's cute mm. what what the denim is this bread oh it is bread oh yeah it is <laughs> oh my gosh it's just like jewelry look at, look at these ones I think we found it. Perfect. These ones. <laughs> there he is. How was basketball? Why? I just wasn't shooting the best. Oh, stop. To continue on, we are gonna go grab a bowl of ramen because it is very, very rainy and gloomy, and ramen just is perfect for them. How is that? It's your favorite cuddling position. I don't think he likes this. He likes it. He doesn't. <laughs> All right, so to wrap up the self-care vlog, we got something, a new hobby for our mental health. We're gonna do some selling. For today's little project, I got these like oversized denim from Cotton. Um, they're quite baggy, which I like, but they're just way too long, so we're gonna hem them. I don't really care too much about keeping the original hem. I think I'm just gonna cut it off and shorten it because they're gonna be baggy and kind of loose at the bottom. Here's what these are looking like before getting the hem. Love the fit. It's just a bit too long at the bottom. I'm thinking maybe an inch. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna cut an inch and a half. Here's one leg kinda done. Um, pretty straight for the most part. A little bit janky, but it's it's whatever. We're still learning. Brian's former self-care. He's got book, oatmeal. What kind of oatmeal? Apple, cinnamon, what? Mm. <laughs> this book is impossible to understand. With an unknown quantity that depends on the particle shapes and packing. Here we call this FSP. If we kept Okay, I'm done. Thank it's you. So, I don't get it. <laughs> kind of like I mentioned in the first uh, sewing video that I did, um, I think the reason why sewing has been a really nice hobby for me, aside from the fact that it relates to less shitty and kind of helps me um, in that sense, but it's something that's hands-on that takes 100% of my concentration, especially because I'm very new at it. Uh, that is not like screen or phone related at all. Um, so it's just been nice to just not think about anything for a little bit. And yeah, I'm just excited to take more classes, work on the second project. All right, so we're gonna give these one more final press and we'll see what they look like on. All right, folks, here's what we're looking like. Honestly, pretty happy with the length. It is a little bit janky if you look really, really close, but don't do that. Gonna grab a denim jacket, lose the hat. Got our tote bag with 
even more denim inside of it for the project. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. <laughs> yeah, folks, I'm gonna call it here for the self-care vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you some comfort and hope you got something out of it. Maybe it gave you some ideas to try and integrate some of these things into your self-care routine. As always, thank you guys for watching and remember to be less shitty. Bye, guys. Jasper, goodbye fist bump. Goodbye fist bump. Come on. Oh, <laughs> thank you, buddy.